Hey, what's going on guys? It is Mystical Prime, or you can just call me Taren, whatever peels your banana, and today I'm going to bring you guys a 48 kill team deathmatch gameplay on multi-team. That's pretty beast, I think. I basically got almost 75% of the kills, because you can only get 75 kills in TDM, and I got f almost 50 out of 75, so I got 48 out of 75. That's pretty beast in my opinion, so you know, I hope you guys do enjoy this gameplay. I'm rocking an MSMC Rogue Camo, aka Red Tiger. I say, like, I say that in every video, but I just love this camo. I don't know why. I recommend you guys go buy it. Uh, but anyways, before I get into the main topic of this video, I do want to mention that my upload for Team Razor is up. I talk about how to pick your next generation console, because if any of you guys are interested in learning, you know, tips to pick your next gen console and uh, help you decide which one to buy, you can go ahead and click the link in the description below after you finish watching this video if you are interested in listening to me even more. Uh, but anyway guys, the main topic of this video is becoming better at Call of Duty. You know, how do you become better uh, at this game, at the at, at the series as a whole to be honest. And, um, and I took a break from Black Ops 2 in December and I came back in July because I wanted to do YouTube. Uh, I was serious about this and I told myself, you know, this is it, I'm going to do YouTube, no going back. And I'm here right now, this is where I am, 144 subscribers, and um, no, I'm loving it. Uh, but when I came back in July after a 7-8 to eight month break, I was really, really bad at this game. Uh, I could barely go positive, like I think for like a couple days straight, I went like 28, 27, sometimes I went negative, I can barely get over 30 kills in Domination, you know, I, can, like, I would get lucky if I could drop 50 kills in a game. Uh, but now it's like at the the tides have turned. You know, I drop 50, 60 kills on average every game. You know, I I can get the I can basically get a hundred plus, a couple hundred plus game plays every day. Uh, I can get a couple nuclear gun streaks now. You know, everything is just coming easier to me. Um, and there's a few things that I did tell me get better. And I, these tips aren't like the typical tips you normally hear from a bunch of other YouTubers, right? So, um, here are the tips anyway, so I'm not, I don't want to waste your time, but my first tip, guys, the first thing that I did to help myself improve for YouTube and everything was to play League Play. And I know League Play is a totally different style of play compared to online pubs, uh, but League Play teach, taught me something, and it's going to teach you guys something as well, and it taught me gun skill. It taught me um, how to shoot and how to aim properly, because in League Play, you're obviously, you're playing players that will shoot back. It's not like in public matches. You're playing against a bunch of bad players that just have no idea what they're doing. In League Play, people know what they're doing, most of the time at least. So they're going to shoot back, and it really taught me um, this, like patience as well. And so I really recommend you guys go ahead and just grind League Play for a few days, because that's what I did. Because I went, when I went into League Play, I literally got slaughtered in Search and Destroy five games in a row. I went like zero, and it was ridiculous. Like I was really, <laughs> You guys don't understand how bad I was uh, at this game compared to now. Uh, but playing League Play honestly helped me improve uh, to become a better player for you guys. So that's my first tip. And my next tip, guys, is to learn the spawns. I literally, what I did, guys, is I googled a spawns for every single map. I just kind of looked at them. You know, every time I went to go play an online match, I would uh, Google, like, slums, spawn points. And then I'd be looking at the spawn points while I'm playing the game. And eventually, you know, the spawns just kind of, they're in my head now. I don't forget them anymore. So it's really easy to remember them, but you know, it's a good way to practice by just you know learning the spawns because learning the spawns can help you in a long way in this game. Uh, because you know when you kill players, you know you need to think ahead of time where are you going to go next? Are you going to turn left, right, turn around, jump shot around the corner? And the way to make these quick decisions after killing enemy players is to know where the spawns are. If you know where they're going to spawn, you know what your next decision is going to be. Because the worst thing you can do in a Call of Duty multiplayer match is to kill someone and be like. What do I do next? You know, you need to always know what you're going to do. You need to always be on the move. And the only way to do that is if you know the spawns. I recommend you go ahead and Google uh, spawn points for different maps when you're about to play them, you know, just to understand them better. Because that's what I did, and it's sincerely helped me a lot. <laughs> sincerely. That's a that's a weird word to use. Uh, but my last tip, guys, is the fact that you really need to watch uh, other YouTubers play. Uh, that's what I did. I watched Jay Nasty. Uh, I watch Zoom. I watch a bunch of my favorite YouTubers on YouTube. You know, you gotta look at your favorite YouTubers and watch how they play, and try to mimic their routes. Mimic them. Um, you don't need to necessarily copy their style because everybody has a different style of play. Uh, but you should really just try to watch how they move around the map because you know they the you these YouTubers obviously perfected their rotations and different maps and stuff. 
So I would really recommend that you guys go ahead and watch. I like, you know a lot of people don't like Jay Nasty, and he has a lot of hate, but I, per, I, to be honest, I really like him, and I like his gameplays. You know, he he's a really good guy in terms in real life, uh, from what I've seen from him liking everybody's videos, and to being a really good player. And he honestly plays very well, and you can learn a lot from watching him. So you can, I recommend you guys go watch him. I also watch Fear Crads, The Mark of Jay. Um, so there's a bunch of guys that I watch that help me improve at this game uh, because you know you can learn their routes learn how they play and that's really what I did to get better guys these three main things help me catapult my skill from being pretty bad at this game to semi decent but anyway guys I am mystical prime or you can just call me Terran and I'll see you guys tomorrow I guess don't forget to leave a like on this video goodbye